Hey everyone, today I'm going to share with you four effects and tricks that I literally use in every single reel I create in Premiere Pro. These are game changers, so let's not waste any time and jump right into it. The first effect I want to show you is something I use every single time when I need rounded corners in an easy and fast way. So I'm going to the effects panel and I'm typing rounded crop in the search bar. And here it is, you can see Film Impact Rounded Crop FX right here in the results. Now I'm just dragging and dropping this effect onto my image. And the cool thing is, it works on both images and videos. Let me show you exactly how you can make adjustments to get it looking perfect. I'm going to the Effect Controls panel, and here you can see all the settings. First up, we have the crop options from four corners. Left, right, top, and bottom. If you need to crop your video or image, just increase the value here. Watch what happens when I drag this up. See how it's cutting the video while maintaining those beautiful rounded corners? That's exactly what we want. Now, if you need a feather where you cropped, just increase the feather value like this. This creates that nice soft edge instead of a hard cut. But here's the main part, and this is what makes this effect so powerful. The roundness setting. By default, it's set to 10. You can increase and decrease this value. When you increase it, the rounded corners become more rounded, more circular. And when you decrease it, the rounded corners become smaller, more subtle. But my absolute favorite feature, and, and this is where it gets really interesting, is that if you need a specific corner to be rounded, like just the top left, or just the top right, or bottom left, or bottom right, you can round each and every corner separately. Let me show you what I mean. Right now, I'm increasing just the top left round value. Look at this. It's only applying the rounded corner to the top left. The other corners stay sharp. Now I'm increasing the bottom right corner value, and watch this. Look how aesthetic this looks. Two corners are sharp, and two corners are rounded. This gives you such a unique, stylish look that really stands out. The second effect is one of my absolute favorites for adding depth and style. It's the long shadow effect. I'm going to the effects panel and searching for long shadow, and here it is. You'll find film impact long shadow FX right here. I'm dragging and dropping this effect onto my image. And just like the rounded corners, this effect works on both images and videos, which is fantastic. Let me show you how you can change the settings and really customize this effect to match your style. I'm going to Effect Controls, and here you can see all the options. First up is the Angle setting. This controls your shadow angle. I'm changing it now, and you can see how the shadow is moving around the object. Pretty cool, right? Second is the Length setting. This controls your shadow length. The higher the length value, the longer your shadow will be. Right now, I'm using 100 which gives us a nice dramatic long shadow. Third, we have shadow color. You can easily change the shadow color from right here. Let me make the color red. Watch this. Look how the shadow color changes instantly. This is so powerful for matching your brand colors or the mood of your video. Then we can see the highlights. This affects the lighter parts of our shadow color. You can see the difference it makes right here. Next is duo color. This is the bottom part of the shadow color. Right now it's black, but we can change it to whatever color we need. Let me change this color to blue. See how cool that looks? Now we have a red to blue gradient in our shadow. Now here's my favorite setting, alpha fall off. This is incredible. First, let me change the duo color to black and this color to something like gray so you can see this better. Alpha fall off is kind of like a feather, but way more powerful. When you increase this value, watch this, it makes your shadow so much smoother and more professional looking. Look at this. This is what separates amateur shadows from professional ones. And at the very last, we have shadow opacity. You can tweak this according to your preference. Make it more subtle or more dramatic. That's the long shadow effect. Let's move to the third one. Now, the third one is not really an effect, but it's a feature that I see so many video editors not using. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm adding some text here on the timeline. So I see lots of editors, and maybe you're doing this too. They choose a flat color for their text in every single edit. But I need to tell you something important. Please, please use gradients. Gradients look awesome and add so much depth to your text. 
they really elevate your whole edit to the next level. This is especially important when you're working with white or black backgrounds. Using a gradient makes your text pop and look so much more professional. Let me change this text to use a gradient. Look how our text looks now. See that depth? That dimension? That's the power of gradients. Yo, know, you can try different blending modes with gradient text, and each one gives you a completely different look. So make sure whenever you're creating text, or really anything with text, use this trick. Create a good gradient and experiment with different blending modes. Your edits will instantly look more professional and polished. Now, the fourth one is obviously the export settings. I'm clicking the export icon right here at the top. I always export my videos in 4K quality. Even if someone is watching on their phone, YouTube processes 4K videos better and you get better quality overall. So this is really important. First, make sure your format is set to H.264. This is the standard format for online videos. YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, they all prefer this format. Now, if you created a 4K sequence from the beginning, you don't need to manually set it to 4K here. It's already done, but in my case, I created a standard HD sequence. You can see right here, it's 1080 by 1920. So if I wanna make it 4K, I'm unchecking this match source checkbox. Now I can manually type in the dimensions. For the width, I'm typing 2160. And for the height, I'm typing 3840. This is the standard 4K size. Remember these numbers, 2160 by 3840. Now I'm clicking on this more button to access the advanced settings. This is where the magic happens. Here you can find render at maximum depth. I'm checking this box. This ensures the highest quality color processing and also check on use maximum render quality. Now I'm scrolling down and you'll find the bitrate encoding setting. I'm clicking the drop-down menu and choosing VBR 2-pass. VBR stands for Variable Bitrate. 2-pass and 2-pass means Premiere renders the video twice for optimal quality. This gives you the best balance between file size and quality. Here I can change the target bitrate. I'm setting it somewhere between 19 and 30 megabits per second. For most content, 25 megabits per second is perfect. If you have really fast-moving action, go higher. If it's mostly static, you can go lower. And that's it. Now I'm clicking on export and you'll get your beautiful 4K quality video that looks absolutely stunning on any platform. Thanks so much for watching.